very good morning to you all uh, today let us uh, <coughs> see computer control of processes part 10 today we are going to see how to design deadbeat controller for a system with the dead time yesterday day before yesterday we have seen that uh, how to design a deadbeat controller for a system without dead time that we have seen now we are going to see how to design a deadbeat controller for a system with uh, dead time that we are going to see today then uh, we are going to see how to design a controller uh, using uh, controller using uh, Dolin's algorithm. Uh, these are the two things that we are going to Deadbeat uh, uh, or minimal prototype response. Ooh, deadbeat or minimal prototype response. Yeah, we know that uh, any digital controller will be looking like this already we proved this uh, any controller will be looking like this d of z equal to 1 by hgp of z y of z upon y set point of z y of z upon y set point of z uh, whole upon 1 minus y of z by y set point of z so uh, what is this 1 by hgp of z is uh, uh, a, a mathematical model of a process. So, uh, if you want, uh, if you want to design a controller, you need the mathematical model of the process. That's why we are finding a mathematical model for a process. If you know the mathematical model, then only you can. Uh, find the controller. What is H? H is zero order hold. It should preside over one mathematical model. And HGP of Z, you have to find one by HGP of Z you, you want to design the controller. That is one part. Another part is here. Here, uh, this is what uh, this is Y of Z by Y set point of Z. We have to define what is Y of Z by output by input Y set point of Z. How your response should look like uh, that is uh, the meaning of this um, in the deadbeat controller we assumed that uh, y set point of uh, is that is a unit step change for that we are designing the controller any change you can give afterwards that is different while designing the controller what is your assumption is that uh, we are assuming that set point is a unit step change that is the assumption you are uh, making while designing the controller. For that, what is the response of the process? This is the assumption or unit uh, uh, assumption uh, that you are going to make uh, an assumption that uh, the response will be looking like that. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? If you give a step input, if you give a step input, the response will be, suppose I am giving a step input um, even though it is discrete i am putting in a continuous uh, step so it means you are giving inputs uh, like this uh, if we give inputs like this uh, the response should be response should be like this this is the response not this this is right uh, this is this is the line. step response. So after one sampling period, this is zero sampling here n equal to one, here n equal to two, like that. From first to sampling instant, uh, you are getting the response. That is the meaning, uh, that is the assumption we made in the bit. But uh, what is the meaning? Uh, the response will be looking like this means at uh, the sampling instance, the process output is one. Therefore, the response uh, will be the response will be uh, the response will be like this the response will be uh, like this 
this is the response due to dead beat what is the meaning is from first sampling instant from first sampling instant the output at the sampled instant is one what is the assumption we made the assumption made is this is the assumption made while designing controller but what is the actual response actual response is from it will start from here so you will get uh, at first sampling instant you are getting one the second sampling instant you are getting one and the third sampling instant uh, sorry at the third sampling instant you are getting one at the fourth sampling instant you are getting one so uh, it, it, it will pass through this so it will large your shoot then it always it goes uh, like this it means at the sampling instant the value of uh, uh, the process variable is one that is the assumption because we know the values at sampling instant only so mathematically the controller is designed such a way that at the sampling instance the value is one but actually what is our the imagination this is the response we imagined like that but actual response is like this both are same as far as discrete both are equal as far as discrete is concerned because at the sampling instance at the sampling instance the values are one this is the assumption we made while designing the controller if you join all points only you will get what you will get uh, you will get uh, you will get the response you will get the response like this if you join all sampling points only you will get the response like this. that's why both are equal but the actual response is like this at the sampling instance its value is one so what is the controller so uh, we assumed that this is the output so one delay one sampling period delay again it is also a step response if you divide the result is z power minus 1 therefore d of z equal to 1 by hgp of z z power minus 1 upon 1 minus z power minus 1 how you got you substitute here so at uh, sampling instance it is equal to 1 now what you got d of z equal to z power minus 1 upon 1 minus z power minus 1 how you got here you see that numerator y of z upon y of z point of z that you substituted from here because y of z by y z point of z is z power minus 1 you substituted that's why you got uh, this you got this the numerator you substituted is z power minus 1 the denominator 1 minus z power minus 1 you substituted if you find uh, from the mathematical model 1 by hgp of z you will get the controller so to design a deadbeat controller what and all required the first thing is hgp of z that that is the mathematical model of the process one by hgp of z is required second what is required y of z by y of z by output by y z point of z z point of z is required these two are required if you know these two you can find the uh, deadbeat uh, controller then uh, already we designed a deadbeat controller for first order process without the time and we uh, in the previous class now uh, what is the drawback of this uh, uh, deadbeat controller here large overshoot will be there large overshoot will be there that is one drawback with the, uh, the deadbeat controller highly oscillatory it is highly oscillatory it oscillates and settles these are the two drawbacks um, that is one weakness of uh, deadbeat controller why this is because we are assuming that the process is settled what is our assumption the process is settled from first sampling instant we, uh, we are assuming that uh, uh, from first sampling instant it is uh, it's uh, settled at one that is the assumption we made that's why the controller exhibits very strong control action that's why the controller exhibits very strong control action um, uh, that's why or a uh, large over, uh, overshoot and large oscillation this is the reason why uh, the system has uh, uh, large overshoot and oscillations because uh, 
from first sampling instant, uh, it settles. That is the assumption we made. That's why rise time is very, very minimum. In one sampling instant, uh, it should uh, reach the uh, final value. Rise time is one sampling period. Rise time, uh, rise time equal to uh, T, one sampling period. In that, uh, the process should reach the final value, first time. That's why oscillations are more and uh, over should say is large. Uh, the, the steady state uh, value of uh, deadbeat controller always uh, has a uh, steady state error of zero, but it has large oscillations and uh, over large overshoot. Mm, the net be physically realizable if the system delay is uh, uh, not larger than sampling period. Suppose uh, uh, it is physically realizable if uh, the dead time dead time in the process the, the process uh, reaction if you draw it will be like this and the sampling period is here here the dead time in the process is uh, very small and it is within that. Uh, sampling period. That's why the deadbeat algorithm is realizable. Uh, um, if uh, the deadbeat algorithm is more than this, what we will do, suppose the deadbeat in the process, uh, sorry, dead time in the process is larger than the sampling period means uh, here dead time is uh, uh, two sampling period. Dead time is two sampling period. Therefore, uh, we cannot expect the response will be, we cannot expect that the response will be uh, uh, within that uh, two sampling period, within that two sampling period. That's why uh, uh, we can expect only from third sampling instant only we can expect. That's why k equal to two in this case, the system has a dead time of two and we have to give at least one sampling period that is uh, for design of deadbeat. So totally three sampling period. So in this case, uh, um, in this case, uh, uh, the, the, the V of Z by Y set point of Z, Y set point of Z must be is uh, Z power minus K minus one. That is uh, Z power in this case is it power minus three if it is not so what will happen we are uh, always assuming that is it power minus one means uh, what will happen we we'll see um, uh, what is the uh, suppose i'm having a system with the hgp of z hgp of uh, uh, z equal to uh, z transform of uh, a system with uh, e power minus uh, 2ps let us assume 2ps having the time upon uh, tau s plus 1 this is the mathematical model of the process it has a uh, uh, time of two sampling periods two sampling periods therefore uh, if you find uh, uh, a z transform for this uh, you will get uh, HGP of Z will be HGP of uh, Z. HGP of Z will be equal to uh, Z power Z power K minus K. Z power minus K. HGP of HGP of. And uh, the system has the time of two seconds. HGP of uh, uh, Z equal to what you will get Z power minus 2 in a 2 sampling period or minus K generally uh, HGP of Z then uh, Z transform of system without uh, dead time that is tau s plus 1 K upon tau s plus 1 so what you will get uh, Z power minus 2 and something you will get and uh, something you will get if you substitute this in the HGP of Z, what you will get? If you substitute this in uh, um, HGP of Z, 
if you substitute this in HGP of Z, HGP of Z, you will get uh, Z power plus two in the numerator because one by HGP of Z you would find, you would find one by HGP of Z, Z power minus two and in the denominator you will get HGP of Z without uh, dead time, Z power two you will get. Therefore, uh, if you put K equal to two, already you know that um, D of Z equal to, D of Z equal to uh, one by HGP of Z, Z square numerator you will get divided by HGP of Z. It's GP of Z. Why this Z power 2? In here you will get Z power minus 2. If it goes to the numerator, it becomes Z power plus 2. And uh, then what you are getting? Z power minus 1 divided by 1 minus Z power minus 1. Because as per rule, the delay you assume that one sampling period. That's why Y of Z by Y set point of Z Z power minus 1. If you combine the numerator these two, what you will get? Uh, d of z equal to d of z equal to z power 1 2 minus 1 equal to 1 upon um, hgp of z upon hgp of z and uh, 1 minus 1 minus z power minus 1 so from this uh, in the numerator uh, you are having positive value it means uh, uh, already we have seen that if numerator has any z positive values it requires future values it requires future values that's why it is not physically realizable that's why what uh, we have to do is what we have to do is um, we have to assume that yeah, suppose the system has a dead time of two sampling period means two sampling period you cannot anything so as per rule we have to assume one sampling period this is one sampling period is as per dead beat this two sampling period is for a dead time dead time this is for dead beat as per dead beat totally three if you take then uh, you will get the response you have to assume like this now what is the controller the controller will be for a uh, sampling period of uh, a dead time of two seconds z power plus two upon uh, hgp of z without dead time this is hgp of z without dead time this is uh, the denominator without dead time mm into z power minus 3 now we included the the time also 1 minus z power minus 3 if you combine these two you will get z power minus 1 that is numerator is no positive uh, value of z that's why it is physically realizable it is physically realizable then the next uh, uh, thing that uh, we have to see here is uh, uh, we, uh, that we discussed so far if the dead time is z power minus 2 the time is z power minus 3 then uh, we should uh, uh, assume that uh, um, controller design will be looking like this if it is uh, uh, dead time is one sampling and two sampling period then uh, it should be z power minus 3 if it is three sampling period then it should be uh, z power minus four so the assumption we made if the system has uh, uh, y of z uh, assumption made if the system has dead time is y of z by y set point of z must be z power minus k k is integral multiple of sampling by minus one or that is equal to z power minus of k plus 1 minus of k plus 1 that is this k is for uh, dead time this uh, one is as per rule at least one sampling period is required after giving the input that's why that one therefore is it for minus k plus 1 we have to assume that uh, some will see so so if uh, this is uh, uh, dead time here dead time is uh, uh, one uh, dead time here is uh, no dead time here and uh, one sampling period that's why we are expecting a response from second so the uh, one one for one sampling period for uh, design and another one for dead time so uh, total delay is k plus one so k equal to one means one plus one equal to two therefore we are expecting the response we are expecting the response 
from second sampling instant we are expecting the response from second sampling instant so here dead time equal to dead time equal to 2k 2 dead time equal to k equal to 2 here two sampling period therefore we can expect the response only from only from third sampling instant so what is the assumption while designing dead beat controller this is the assumption here what is the assumption here this is the assumption so the therefore for here the assumption y of z equal to y of z equal to z power minus 2 upon 1 minus z power minus 1 here what is the assumption y of z equal to z is uh, power minus 3 upon 1 minus z power minus 1 this is the assumption we made uh, while uh, designing uh, let beat controller if the system has dead time if the system has uh, a dead time now uh, already we have seen this if uh, the mathematical model of the process is pure first order without dead time we are seeing in that the assumption is uh, y of z by y z point of z is we are assuming like this only y of z by uh, y z point of z y z point of z z point of z equal to z power minus one because no dead time no without dead time without uh, uh, dead time no dead time or zero dead time so in that case you would assume like that and one by hgp of z you got like this for a first order system this is the response this is uh, this has no uh, no um, uh, 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 no term no positive powers of z no positive no positive uh, powers of no positive powers uh, of uh, z in the numerator in the numerator there is no positive powers of z when we have to see like that the denominator the denominator uh, should have uh, one constant and uh, uh, the polynomial should consist of a uh, one constant term all must be in negative powers of z we have to write and it must consist of one uh, constant term and uh, the denominator that time the numerator should not contain any positive powers then it is physically realizable yes for that we have seen that that is working well then uh, suppose uh, let us assume that the system has a dead time of two sampling period the same system the same system but the system has uh, let us design controller for a system with uh, uh, dead time in this case um, uh, In this case, uh, uh, the system is uh, with the time of two sampling period. It is integral multiple of sampling period. The system dead time is TD. TD equal to TD equal to two T, two time sampling period. It has uh, it has uh, uh, the time of two time sampling period. Therefore, therefore, uh, HGP of Z will have Z power minus two. Z power minus two. If you put a 1 by HGP of Z, if you put 1 by HGP of Z, if you put 1 by HGP of Z, you will get uh, the numerator, the dead time becomes in the numerator. Because if you write a, a inverse for this, this becomes positive power. Z square you are getting. Uh, already we have seen that the D of Z should not have uh, positive powers. The problem why you, we are getting like this, because we assume that y of z by y z point of z y z point of z uh, equal to z power minus one without considering dead time that's why it becomes unrealizable physically not realizable this is uh, uh, physically physically not realizable it is physically not realizable because it has positive powers of z uh, and the denominator has uh, a constant term that time it has a positive powers in the numerator therefore therefore it is not physically not physically realizable physically realizable not physically realizable not physically 
realizable. So what we would assume that y of z divided by y z point of z, we must assume that y of z divided by y z point of z must be two times sampling uh, two uh, dead, for that time two sampling period plus uh, as per design one. So totally we would assume z power minus three. Y of z must be equal to y of z divided by y z point of z. Uh, then, then it is uh, z power minus three, not z power minus two. Now let us design what happens. The z power minus two in the denominator, if it comes in the numerator, the z square. Here z power minus three. If you combine these two, you will get z power minus one. Uh, denominator, a uh, constant term is there, and it has no positive powers of z. It is physically realizable. It is physically realizable, and we can simulate. Uh, if uh, uh, if uh, uh, possible, tomorrow we will see the simulation. Hmm? Simulation of all these uh, controllers tomorrow. I thought of seeing today, but uh, tomorrow we will see. Uh, it is in the laptop. Hmm? We will see tomorrow. <coughs> uh, then now let us move on to uh, <coughs> Darling's controller. Darling's controller uh, um, and eliminates all the problems of uh, um, <coughs> problems of uh, deadbeat controller. What are the problems in deadbeat controller? The first problem is it has large overshoot. We will see tomorrow. We didn't simulate. That's why you cannot see the large overshoot. The system has large overshoot because uh, we are forcing the system to uh, uh, to give response in one sampling period. That's why that's why it has uh, uh, large overshoot. That is one problem. Second problem is uh, uh, because of this uh, forcing the system within that one sampling period. In other words, its race time is one sampling period. That's why it has large oscillation also. The control input is very strong because it has to bring the process to uh, set point within one sampling period. That's why the controller gives large controller output. Uh, uh, so uh, the system has uh, large oscillations. That is the second drawback. Third drawback is uh, if the system has uh, uh, this is the third problem is the system has dead time. Uh, then it is not physically realizable. Then we have to modify the assumption of uh, the responses. Uh, uh, from after one sampling period, there is the assumption that is uh, we cannot assume because uh, the uh, controller becomes uh, physically unrealizable. That's why we are uh, assuming that instead of z power minus one, one y of z by y z point of z equal to z power minus one. That is the assumption. Now we are slightly modified that uh, the modify that assumption y of z by y z point of z as z power minus k minus one. So. Uh, we are introducing that k uh, equal to uh, integral multiple of dead time. If you introduce that, then the system becomes physically realizable. Uh, but anyhow, the drawback with the deadbeat algorithm is we, we are getting large uh, oscillations and overshoots that can be um, uh, uh, solved in Dolin's method. In Dolin's method, uh, uh, the assumption we made is the response is uh, response is like reaction curve. The response is like reaction curve. That is the assumption we made. This is the response without any oscillation. Without any oscillations, we are assuming this is the response. So uh, and this is the dead time uh, that we are assuming that uh, the response having dead time. It should always be greater than uh, greater than or equal to dead time of the process because uh, the dead time should be at least uh, equal to the process dead time should not be less than it is not possible to reduce the time of the process by any means uh, that's why the dead time in the process should at least be this must be in this case uh, the dead time must be um, the dead time must be integral multiple of uh, integral multiple of uh, TD must be integral, TD must be equal to integral multiple of T, where theta is the, where theta is the uh, integer, theta is an, uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, 
td equal to td dead time given dead time is td td is given td is theta td equal to theta therefore theta must be equal to theta must be equal to theta must be equal to k times integral multiple of sampling period if we take uh, theta equal to integral multiple of sampling period then uh, the response uh, the assumption we made on the response must we have a dead time of kt dead time of kt after that it can increase and settle so this must be kt times that we have to assume so z power minus k and uh, uh, then uh, we can assume uh, some time constant that is mu that is the mu uh, the second assumption uh, is the first assumption is uh, it has some dead time theta e power minus theta s it should not be less than the dead time of the system mu is the time constant of the process times mm, closed loop time constant of the process the closed loop time constant may be less than the uh, open loop time constant that is possible because uh, the controller will make up that if the open loop uh, system is a little bit uh, sluggish uh, we can make the closed loop response smarter that is possible that is possible In that way we can choose mu less than the uh, time constant of open loop system suppose uh, uh, i am having a open loop system e power minus uh, 5s this is the the time in the process upon 5s plus 1 five it means what the time constant of the process is 5 seconds time constant of process is 5 seconds i can design the mu with 4 3 2 anything i can design so if you reduce this slightly uh, slightly uh, slight oscillatory that's all but we can reduce uh, the time constant of uh, closed loop time constant of the process so mu can be a tuning parameter we can design uh, we can choose as a design parameter we can choose mu as a design parameter that's all and therefore y of s equal to e power minus theta s y of s equal to e power minus theta s the assumption we made for y of s y of s y of s not y of z well, y of s equal to e power minus theta s upon mu s plus 1 where mu is the time constant of closed loop response for step input this is the assumption for step input so for step input uh, the continuous time response will be like this this is the assumption we made so for this if you obtain step response uh, what you will get you will get this you will get this what is the meaning of this uh, what is the you can write like this here in terms of a if you write uh, here it is in term, it is written in terms of uh, um, time constant if you write the same in in terms of a you will you will get like this uh, 1 by mu 1 by mu e power minus uh, theta equal to kt kt uh, upon uh, oh yes plus 1 by mu One by mu multiplied by yes. Uh, you can write like this. For this, uh, what is the z transform you have to see? This is looking like uh, 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 y a e power minus k t upon uh, yes plus yes plus uh, one by a yes multiplied by yes. It is looking like this. So if you take this s uh, yes multiply s yes plus a s, yes, if you like, uh, like this, uh, then what is the um, uh, is the transform for this s yes into s yes plus a? You see that the a a a upon a is that that is one by mu. S yes is that s yes plus a that is s yes plus one by mu. You see that uh, what is uh, what is the uh, Is a transform. This is the is a transform for the. This is the is a transform for the given expression. One minus e power minus a t. Here a equal to one by mu. Therefore t by mu z power minus one upon one minus z power minus one multiplied by one minus e power minus a a equal to one by mu t by mu z power minus one. This is uh, the uh, is the transform of this. Here theta equal to kt. Therefore, uh, 
z power minus k for this is it e power minus e minus theta s we are getting z power minus k so the for the remaining thing for the remaining thing if we bring that mu outside or one by mu will be in the numerator uh, denominator s multiplied by s plus one by mu therefore a equal to one by mu therefore one minus e power minus t by mu into z power minus one numerator denominator 1 minus z power minus 1, 1 minus e power minus uh, t by mu z power minus 1 in the denominator. So this is y of z. Then uh, to design a controller, what is required? d of z equal to d of z equal to 1 by hgp of z, hgp of z, uh, y of z by y z point of z, y z point of z upon 1 minus y of z by y z point of z, y z point of z. So uh, this we have to assume. So y of z is assumed, y z point of z equal to what? 1 by 1 minus z power minus 1, step in, step input. If you divide these two, this term will get cancelled. This term, this term, it will uh, find y of z by y z point of z. This term will get cancelled because uh, y of z equal to 1 by 1 minus uh, z power minus 1. Therefore, this getting cancelled, the remaining thing will be y of z by y z point of z. That we have to substitute. Uh, we know that y of y z point of z is 1 by 1 minus z power minus 1. If you find y of z by y z point of z, as I said, z power minus k is there, the numerator as such is there, divided by the 1 minus z power minus 1, the denominator getting cancelled. So, this is we got. So this is y of z by y z point of z. If we substitute uh, in that uh, d of z equal to 1 by hgp of z into 1 minus 1 minus uh, e power t by mu z power minus k minus 1. Here z power minus k, z power minus 1. If we combine these two, z power minus k minus 1. And uh, this, uh, uh, this you will get uh, um, <coughs> Uh, HGP of z and uh, you will get uh, 1 minus y of z by y z point of z. This you have to write. y of z by y z point of z. If you write in the denominator, uh, take LCM, you will get this term uh, in the denominator. You will see if you take LCM, you will get uh, this is because of that one because of LCM. The remaining assets you are getting. So, these two terms because of 1 minus y of z by 1 minus uh, 1 minus y of z by y z point of z. So, this is uh, the uh, Darling's controller. Here, what and all we have to substitute? We have to substitute what and all we have to substitute in that uh, Lorentz controller. We have to substitute 1 by HGP of z. Depends upon the given system. Then, we have to uh, assume uh, that uh, this uh, we have to assume that uh, uh, we have to substitute dead time integral multiple of sampling period mu 1 by mu assume the time constant here also you have to substitute that mu here also here you have to substitute the dead time so if you know k integral multiple of uh, dead, uh, integral multiple of sampling period equal to dead time that is td equal to if you know td uh, dead time in that process that is equal to kt if you write uh, and k equal to k equal to td dead time upon t sampling period suppose sampling period is one dead time equal to three seconds equal to three suppose sampling period is two uh, dead time is four sampling period is two you will get k equal to two so all depends upon the sampling period and mu is already i told you that mu is the closed loop time constant you can choose less than the uh, open loop time constant uh, so mu and k if you substitute and choose the sampling period, you will get the response. You will get the response. Here, <laughs> the time constant mu is the design parameter whose values to be selected by the designer according to the desired closed loop response. We can reduce the time constant of the process whose uh, 
open loop time constant is may be larger you can reduce the closed loop time constant uh, to the desirable value we choose low values of mu we can choose low values of mu if we require a faster response so a larger value of mu will yield more sluggish closed loop response if you choose a large values of mu the response will be sluggish so if you choose a large value of mu the response will be like this if you choose smaller value of uh, uh, response uh, so in the smaller value of mu uh, raise time is better the uh, raise time is poor this is uh, large value of large so response we take took uh, this is uh, large value of mu this is uh, smaller value of mu so if you choose uh, mu small mu small this is mu large mu large if you choose large value of mu the response will be sluggish and then the second point about the darling's controller is um, <clears throat> second point about darling's controller is it is clear that darling's algorithm is physically realizable if dead time is not larger than k plus 1t uh, if dead uh, time should be uh, k plus 1t uh, if it is uh, uh, k plus 1t if dead uh, time is greater than k plus 1t then uh, uh, the system will give uh, uh, physically uh, unrealizable system will give uh, it should be less than k plus 1 okay? so uh, that uh, that is uh, we have to take uh, uh, ensure that uh, the dead time is less than k plus 1 with the dolan cell algorithm we can avoid the excessive control action produced by dead beat algorithm that reducing the significantly undesired large overshoot so in the dolan's controller the undesired large overshoot and uh, oscillatory i oscillatory response can be avoided where in dolan's because we are not assuming that the assumption in uh, dead beat what after one sample period the response is like this but here what we are assuming that here we are assuming that response will be smoothly like this that is the assumption we made that's why that's why there is no large overshoot in the case of um, dolan's controller case of dolan's controller let us compare dolan's and dead beat algorithm so we are having a a uh, system with uh, sampling uh, dead time of uh, two sampling period uh, that is uh, td equal to td equal to 2t td equal to 2t for that uh, uh, one system will uh, design a dead beat controller if you assume dead beat controller this is 1 by h gp of z z power minus 3 1 minus z power minus 3 if you find that uh, this is the controller this is the dead beat algorithm controller uh, dead beat algorithm controller Uh, we know how to find uh, uh, this is given a uh, gp of z is given gp of z is given how to find gp of z is given gp of s is given multiply this by h of s h of s equal to what 1 minus 1 minus e power minus t s upon s upon s so with this and find h gp of z then find 1 by h gp of z then uh, here uh, um, the dead time is uh, two sampling period therefore y of z by y of z by y z point of z we assumed minus k minus 1 that is z power k equal to 2 z power minus 3 we assume that's why we got this and if, uh, on by hgp of z if we multiply this is the controller we got this is physically realizable one constant term in the denominator numerator have no um, Uh, positive powers of z therefore this is physically realizable then uh, uh, dolan's algorithm if if you here uh, uh, if you divide if you combine this 10 and 0.99 you will get this 9.9 by 9.9 9.9 and uh, you wrote everything in terms of uh, um, you wrote uh, simplified that's all the same controller but simplified that's all mm. then uh, if we design a dolan's controller in that 
we are assuming that theta equal to 3 because uh, dead time is 2. Already we have assumed that theta must be equal to dead time plus one sampling period. Therefore, here dead time equal to 2 plus one sampling period equal to 3. In that D of Z, theta equal to 3 you have to substitute and uh, mu we have to select. What is the time constant of uh, time constant is 0 0.2 you can choose any value less than even less than 0.1 you can choose then for the design the response is like that uh, and uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, this is uh, this is the uh, dolin's controller dolin's controller with the mu equal to 2 mu equal to 2 what is the time constant of the open loop system 0 0.2 only but here, how much we have the two we select, large values of mu we select. Therefore, definitely it will be sluggish response. It will be a sluggish uh, response. You see that here, if you choose uh, mu equal to two, this is the uh, response with the mu equal to two. This is the response uh, with the mu equal to two. Darling's controller with the mu equal to two. Um, I, I, I am putting a red line close to mu equal to two. This is the response for mu equal to two. Mu equal to two. If you select mu equal to ten, uh, further sluggish. It becomes like this. The response is like this. If you select mu equal to uh, one, uh, further further fast. Further fast. Mu equal to one. This 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 is the mu equal to one response. Uh, uh, if you select deadbeat uh, controller, you see that deadbeat, uh, deadbeat is not a large overshoot, but Darlin is not so. Darlin is not so. Yeah, but uh, in Darlin also, you will get the oscillations. If you select mu equal to very small value, then it will be uh, maybe worse than deadbeat also. Because you want to improve the time constant, that's why you are giving large controller output to reduce time constant. Uh, so sometimes it may be worse than the beat if you further reduce uh, uh, for uh, it moves uh, towards the uh, beat you know you notice that uh, it will notice that the response is uh, moving towards the beat as you go on decrease here mu equal to 10 here mu equal to 2 here mu equal to 1 mu equal to 1 so it approaches the beat as uh, uh, it decreases the mu, it approaches dead beat. If you further decrease, uh, it will it may be worse than uh, dead beat, worse than dead beat. So uh, that is also that. So selection of mu should be judicial. Uh, selection of mu should be judicial. How much faster response we want? How how much we should reduce the oscillations? How much we should reduce the overshoot? Based on that, we have to select the mu. So mu is this design parameter. Based on that, uh, we will get uh, <coughs> uh, we will get a better uh, response. Then uh, ringing, uh, ringing. Uh, what is ringing? Uh, ringing means uh, if you uh, if your design uh, if your design has uh, uh, some factors, uh, some roots uh, that is on the um, uh, left-hand side of uh, unit circle, then it may have oscillations, it may have oscillations, that is ringing, that we see. Um, ringing means uh, the controller output will oscillate. If controller output oscillates, what will happen to the process? Definitely, the input oscillates mean the controller process output also will oscillate. So avoid that uh, after designing the controller. If any term exhibits uh, ringing phenomena, the term will, must be replaced by a compensatory term. Uh, then uh, uh, you can eliminate the um, uh, ringing effect. So what is the ringing effect that we see now? So finally, after design a controller, 
if you see that uh, the control will be looking like this a numerator you will have some polynomial denominator you will have some polynomial any controller if you see earlier uh, we designed some controllers this is uh, uh, dalin's controller you see that denominator one z polynomial numerator one polynomial if you see here uh, here if you see that uh, deadbeat controller denominator we have one polynomial numerator we have z polynomial uh, so if you take any um, <coughs> controller you see this is deadbeat controller wow, what is that numerator one is a polynomial denominator you have one is a polynomial so the controller finally has a numerator uh, uh, denominator polynomial and the numerator polynomial so the controller will be looking like this any digital controller will be looking like this polynomial in z numerator and the ratio of two polynomials the controller will be ratio of uh, Two polynomials. Uh, the the roots of uh, the roots of uh, uh, denominator polynomial are called poles. We know that this is true for controller also. Controller we have to see it as a transfer function. In the transfer function, roots of denominator polynomials are called poles. Uh, for a stable controller, all these poles should lie inside the unit circle. You design one controller. First, uh, before implementation, we should check whether the controller is. Uh, stable or not system is stable but controller is not stable it is like uh, <coughs> it is like uh, um, the person drowning uh, in a uh, water the person who wants to save the person should be stable uh, then only you can save that person who is drowning inside the uh, water um, suppose uh, the person who is not able to swim but he is not uh, he is stable uh, slowly he is swimming but uh, the person who wants to save him may be unstable may be drunken what will happen so uh, here the controller also must be stable that is very important before implementation so the roots of this denominator polynomial uh, uh, the roots of the denominator polynomial must lie on the left hand side of uh, uh, if it is in s domain it should be left hand side of s plane if it is z domain it should be in the within that unit circle the roots must lie within that unit circle that is very important let us examine